How's it going everybody, Civil here, and I'm super excited to be bringing this video. Um, this is going to be my first tip video of Madden 20, and it's going to be going over the biggest change from 19 to 20 in terms of ball carry move, and what is the new it move. If you remember last year in 19, it was the spin move. Uh, once you hit a certain spin threshold, you could spin to the left, spin to the right, spin back to the left, and leave the entire defense in the dust. It was super easy to do. Everybody could do it. And the year before that, it was air truck. All you had to do was literally hit the right stick up, and you would truck some. You would truck, and people would either uh, you truck somebody, or you truck the air, and people would run away from you. But now, this year, what I wanted to bring to you guys is, and so far, this probably will get patched. There's a good chance this will get patched. But what I wanted to bring to you guys is the new move, and it is going to be stiff arming people. And when I tell you that this stuff is OP, it's super, super OP. I'm telling you, people who have been passers their entire Madden career are now running the ball because you can do this to people. So watch what happens. So we're getting the open field. And that might not seem big, but we just fell forward for an extra three yards. And that's going to be consistent. And sometimes we're going to throw people off of us. Even right there, we're going totally horizontal to the line of scrimmage. We're able to fall forward just holding the A button. And the magnitude of what that can do for an offense is ridiculous. Right here, we're able to stiff arm someone off of us. Now the run itself, we're not paying attention to the actual run. We're paying attention to what the ball carrier is doing Wow, he's stiff arming. I'm not trying to say this This is the best run. This run is decent, doesn't really matter. But we're looking solely at the stiff arm. Right there, we're able to fall forward again. You're gonna see a lot of these animations repeat themselves. Uh, right there wasn't a good example, we didn't get a stiff arm. But you're gonna see a lot of these animations just keep repeating themselves and we are going to fall forward people all the time. Right there, the stiff arm literally canceled out another animation and put the defender on his back for another gain of five. Um, now I understand what you're thinking, this is Todd Gurley, this is the best uh, stiff armor. Right there, you see, we, we just stiff arm two people. I don't think I need to demonstrate any more Todd Gurley. Um, I will for one more time for good measure, but I don't really think it's necessary. I think you guys can all see. Boom, get off of me. And we get popped because we just threw his friend to the ground. But you see what the stiff arm could do. But that's not the biggest thing. It's not about that Todd Gurley could throw people off because of course Todd Gurley can. It's Todd Gurley. The thing is, is that you can do this, you're not gonna be able to throw people off all the time, but you can fall forward for good yardage with anybody. I have Malcolm Brown in the game, who's a 72 overall, I believe. Watch what he's able to do. He threw one person off him, he, he got tackled by another. This is Malcolm Smith, who's a 72 overall. Um, I don't think I can show overall this year. Yes, I can, 72 overall. He just threw somebody off him on the first time. Here we go again. We're able to fall forward for three, to four more yards this could not be more clear to everybody this is the go-to move if you're not stiff arming when you have the ball i don't know what you're doing stiff arm fall forward three yards this is the difference between getting hit for a gain of one and getting hit for a gain of four and a gain of four on a run play isn't bad a gain of one is terrible now the thing is you don't have to always be going horizontal to the person you can be running at them straight on and hold a and be able to fall forward now that's a little bit harder to show here let me see if i can do it yeah so right there we're able to get a gain of an extra gain of two basically you, but the biggest thing is we we haven't been put on our ass yet now a lot of times when you get tackled you will get put on your ass like that notice how i didn't hold a and we did not gain any extra yards after contact you don't want to do that because you're cheating yourself out of yards it's free yards right here we're fighting for an extra two yards that could be the difference between a first down and your drive ending it's really that simple here we go, we got a linebacker, and we're able to fall forward for another three yards. This could not be any more clear, I cannot stress it enough. It's really that simple, and you could do it with anybody. Here we go, horizontal to him, and we're falling forward. That is probably the best animation right there for an extra four yards. Now I'm gonna see if I can get a pass play here where I can show you how you can do this with literally anybody. So right here, we throw it, and we get another stiff arm animation with Everett, where we're falling forward for four yards. This is just a random tight end. I don't know anything about him. We're gonna see if we can get it to Woods over here. Well, we tried force into Woods. Woods wasn't open. But you guys, like, I'm, I cannot be any more clear how you can get this with anybody. I'm gonna see if we have a jet sweep somewhere. I believe we do in this playbook. But yeah, I wanna get it with a wide receiver just to hammer home my point. I don't know if we have a jet sweep. Okay, we do not have a jet sweep. I thought we did.
Yeah, okay, we do have a Jet Sweep. This is a tight end Jet Sweep. This is new to Madden 20. Um, it's pretty cool. This play in particular isn't like the best, but there's a lot of plays like it. Do I need to like argue anymore on behalf of the stiff arm? Um, I think that just proved what I've been saying this entire time. Um, and before someone says you're on rookie or something, let me show you in my settings where I am on difficulty. We're on all Madden competitive. Um, this is the toughest difficulty. If you can do an all Madden competitive, I'm fairly certain you can do it on every other game mode. Uh, here we go again. We're falling for four yards. I don't know who this tight end is. Um, it's just some random dude, and he's doing it. If he could do it, you could probably put yourself in the game and stiff arm with your actual rating, and you probably fall for it. That's how good stiff arm is. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, I do have an ebook coming out here in the next few days. Uh, it's going to be over a really fun offense. I'm having a lot of fun on offense with my team I'm using and with the actual offense itself. So I think you guys will really enjoy the offense. I know I sure as hell am. Um, and it's, it's it's really effective. It's super effective. Um, you could watch just a few days ago if you watch on the MBL network uh, on Twitch TV, me playing J-Wall and I played very well on offense. My offense moved the ball very well. But that's about all I have to say for you guys. Please hit the like button, subscribe for the upcoming Madden 20 season. We're going to be dropping tips basically every day out of here, Ace and I are. And for the next month or so, maybe two months, who knows. But make sure you guys show us some support. Hit me up on Twitter or leave a comment uh, down below with any questions you might have. And I'll catch you guys next time.